Oh, oh, has gone wrong already. I don't, I don't know how that happened. Uh, this is sodium acetate, uh, which was a liquid uh, until about 10 seconds ago and has suddenly turned into a solid, which wasn't supposed to happen just yet. <laughs> um, okay, well, that's a nice way of introducing this film. This is a supersaturated solution. There's more of the sodium acetate salt dissolved in the water here than, um, than can really stably remain there. So although it appears stable, it's just sitting there not doing anything, given a bit of a kick, it will suddenly revert to its alternative state, which is as a solid, as a, as a hydrated crystal rather than this solution. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, I've got some of the salt crystals here, which I'm just going to pick up on this screwdriver and just drop into the corner. And this, this is the kick that it needs. So this is going to turn it from liquid into solid before our very eyes, I hope. It's going slowly. That was a partial success. Um, it hasn't quite gone completely solid in the way that this one has. So let's give this another go. Let's try heating both of these back up um, and seeing if we can get it to work a bit better this time. In our quest for the, uh, the perfect, most beautiful shot of this happening, we've, uh, we've uh, prepared this latest batch and allowed it to cool. Um, and we've just come back to it in the prep room and uh, something very peculiar has happened, which I'm not sure I can explain. This is what the sodium acetate normally turns into when you, when you see the crystallization process. But over here we have if I take this watch glass off, you can see, hopefully, that this one has sort of gone, but sort of not. There are, there are crystals in there, but overall it's still mostly liquid. Um, and I don't really know what's going on there. I, I, I would expect that there are the two stable states that it can be in, either as a supersaturated liquid or the whole thing can turn into a solid. This is very peculiar and we'll see it's not just that there's too much water in there if, if i if i seed it in a second with a crystal we should see the whole thing really go okay i'm just going to drop the crystal in now and there we go so that has mystified me quite a lot um Given that I seeded that crystallization by dropping a crystal in, why didn't all the crystals that were already in there, which were sodium acetate crystals, why didn't they? Why hadn't they seeded the crystallization process? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. If you think you can explain it, then uh, hopefully uh, you'll uh, you'll do so below. So this one's going, but extremely slowly because it's still quite warm. So you can see these these crystals spreading incredibly slowly like filaments through the liquid. I haven't had this much trouble with this before, to be honest. As the filaments of crystal form, they, they're giving off heat as they do so and, and thereby inhibiting their own growth, which is why it's so slow. So we're struggling to make these go on cue, um, which we'll persevere with, but at least, at least now we've got a nice black background so we can, uh, when, it, when it does work, we will actually see what's happening. So I think, um, I think why this is proving a bit more problematic than when I've played around with sodium acetate in the past is that we're trying to do it in, in quite small dishes for the cameras. So we're much more susceptible to evaporation, relatively speaking. We'll concentrate on getting some nice shots of the crystallization process, um, and then we'll explain exactly what's going on while, uh, while we see some of those nice shots. The sodium acetate, when it's in the in its liquid form like this, the solution 
thermodynamically would be better off as a, as a solid. That's the preferred thermodynamic state. But that's only on the macroscopic level, on the scale of the whole solution. On the microscopic uh, scale, that's not true. The, the formation of, of individual microscopic crystals is not thermodynamically favourable. So until, until you start it until you start the crystallisation process off with what is, on a microscopic scale, a huge crystal on the end of the screw screwdriver, the, the crystallisation can't happen because it's, because it's, it's not thermodynamically favourable on the right scale.